move on. We have to have to move on. And this on Monday is the last show that we will be doing be as uh, in the month of March, being it Women's History Month. So for the last Women's History Month, we're going to come to diversity <laughs> with Delilah. All right. hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. What's up, Delilah? <laughs> Hey, all right. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So I had to uh, make sure that we talk about Katie Sowers uh, because she was actually the first uh, woman to coach in a Super Bowl when the 49ers, who we're talking about, lost, as we know, to the Kansas City Chiefs, right? Uh, she was the first woman to actually coach in the NFL. You know, we saw this past Super Bowl, there were two women, right? Like, which yeah. was already groundbreaking, but she was the first one. Uh, to officially coach uh, as a uh, uh, offensive uh, assistant coach. So she, that's the team she was on. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what she's known for. But there's a little bit of her background. Born and raised in Kansas uh, in a very small rural kind of uh, conservative uh, Midwest town. Uh, the reason I say that is because she dealt with a lot of discrimination because uh, she also, uh, while in college, came out. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she explained in an interview that she actually lost, uh, lost out a coaching position because of her sexual orientation. What? Um, yeah. Wow. And so, but now oh. at another Christian college, uh, Goshen College, oh. which is a small okay. Christian school in Indiana, yeah. Um, that's where she got her bachelor's degree uh, from, was at Goshen, uh, physical education. You know me, I like I like teachers, so her mm -hmm. BA is in physical education. Right. Uh, she went and got her master's degree at the University of Central Missouri. That's where she got her mm -hmm. master's in kines uh, kinesiology, which obviously she would need as, you know, someone that actually does strengthening and fitness in the NFL. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so she was talking about how she actually lost a coaching uh, and it was only a volunteer coaching position at that, but mm. because of her sexual orientation in college, uh, she was not allowed to coach. Um, mm. And so, yeah, yeah, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, but obviously we saw she's, you know, she enjoyed some successes. Uh, Sowers also played on the American football team, you know, the women's league that has popped up a few times, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, as I've been diving into this, like a lot of the, the women's football team has popped up a lot um, in my research. And now I'm interested. I got to make sure I follow them more. Um, but yeah, so she actually played um, for the uh, the Alliance. So uh, that she was also on that winning team on the 2013 women's team, which we learned from last year. We were talking about Jen Welter. She was on that right. same team, that championship, uh, that championship team. She played quarterback. For the Ooh, Kansas City, yeah, great. Titans, yeah. So, you know, so she's we'll got football, ex yeah. So she has football experience as a not just as a coach, but as a player. Um, she played until she uh, retired from football because of a hip injury. Uh, she was part also part of that uh, when um, the NFL. I keep talking about they kind of launched this diversity kind of internship pro uh, program again to get more. Not just women, but especially women, but, you know, trying to get more people of color, you know, start all these kinds of things to get, uh, you know, into the uh, NFL and coaching, ex you know, all these different positions. And so uh, that's how she started. Um, Sowers start also uh, was an assistant coach in the 2017 season for the San Francisco 49ers. So she's the second uh, full time um, coach because I talked about Jen last week. So she would be considered the second one. Um, she actually interned for the Atlanta Falcons and then she was hired by the San Francisco 49ers under, uh, Shanahan. Um, so obviously we saw he was the offensive coordinator at the time and now he's the coach, the current coach of the San Francisco 49er. But, uh, but she was part of the Bill Wash NFL coaching diversity fellowship. So that's the program that she was in, um, and so she retired, though, from the NFL completely right now. I don't know if she'll ever come back to the NFL, but she said she was grateful for the few years that she spent in it. But currently she's uh, she's retired. So but oh, Katie no. Sowers. Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Shout out. And, and look, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'm so glad that she brought uh, Katie Sowers up. We talked Jen King. We talked Jen Welter. We talked 
a number of females that are in the, in the game. Coaching. They're, in, they're coaching. We talked about them, <laughs> right. some being owners. We talked now, now getting at uh, on uh, being the officials. Like, this is this is move. This is progress. This is big things that are happening right now. And it's be, it, we're, yeah. we're becoming more of an open league where it's if you can do the job, right? You can be hired. Right. It's you know perfect. what I mean? Yep. You know this, trust right. me. Well, right, but... <laughs> right. But at this, and, 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 you, and Delilah, you mentioned it actually before in the previous yes. segment. We were talking about a lot of younger younger, younger people are being brought into the game. A lot of guys yeah. that aren't 50, 60, 70, but they've been in the game 20, you know, just a little bit. Maybe not as much, not as long as the older guys, but right. they have a fresh new outlook. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of these females also are bringing into the game is a fresh. I want to see a head coach. I want to see a female head coach. And like, I, I, I want to see you, that. I'm sure you will. <laughs> it will happen. <laughs> it will, it will, it will that. certainly It'll happen. happen. And I, I think that will be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. Let's go. So, yo, thank you, Delilah. This has been You're another <laughs> segment of Diversity with Delilah. Katie Sowers, happy yeah. Women's History Month to you and to all the amazing women in this world. Shout out to you guys yes. from Let's Talk Football, the roundtable. Yay, yay. 